Well, those things are crazy fun. Shark cart is done. Not totally done. We still want to do some stuff. The ute is done. It runs. It's not totally done. We still want to do some more stuff with that as well. But I think we want to do a new project. Something involving these. They're pretty fun. But they don't have enough power. So, Brad, let's show them what we're going to put it on. We're going to make this a crazy car. All right, let me tell you about my Swedish soccer mom champagne gold V70 wagon. It's a turbo five cylinder, makes decent power, should be fun, could pull the wastegate off, make a little more. She's got some blemishes, but nothing too bad. They said these cars are really safe. It's in relatively good shape. It runs nice, the trans skips a little bit. It's an old car and I haven't treated it very nicely. And I can't really do much with it. I can't get it smogged or anything like that. So it's come time to make something better of it. And what I want to do now is cut this thing in half and make a crazy card out of it. I think it'd be a really, 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 really fun idea. It's too long, so we're gonna chop it somewhere right in here, back behind the seats. Maybe we'll have to test it afterwards and see if it needs any more structure. If it does, I'll build like a main hoop in the back there and something to attach the casters to since it is a unibody, there's really no frame rails. What we're gonna have to start with is taking out this beautiful leather interior which has no blemishes. If anybody wants the back half of a Volvo V70, you let me know. For right now, I wanna get this thing stripped down, stripped out, at least just the back half, just where we're gonna be cutting, so. Miller Welders has sent us some goodies and I wanted to put them to use immediately. One of the things they sent me was a plasma. Those of you that don't know, a plasma torch is basically the closest thing you can have to having a lightsaber. So what better thing to do with that than cut a car completely in half with it to start with. I hope it'll work out as something somewhat like uh, these caster carts here where this is your drive and this is gonna free spin basically in any direction. But you're able to use a handbrake on that to lift the rear end up and give it a little bit more stability. We'll have to experiment. It's not gonna work right the first try, or maybe it will. But I don't think it will work right the first time. But it's worth a shot, and we're gonna have a hell of a time doing it. One of the other things I'd like to do, since I'm scared that we're gonna back it into something, we're gonna get out of control, slide backwards, really don't have any braking control, just, just the front brakes. So I'm gonna have to cap that off. So I'd like to weld the hatch back on behind the seats so it still kind of looks like a miniature wagon. I think this is going to be a really fun project. And I'll uh, show you some of the tips that you need to cut something in half cleanly. And also how to build your own caster card if you feel the need to. After everything's ripped out, we're going to pick the spot to cut it. And we're going to rip it in half. And from there we'll see, we'll play with it. Maybe we'll drive it around without casters and just see what it does and see where we need to put the casters for like a balance point because it's gonna be definitely nose heavy with the big engines up front here and nothing in the back. We'll have to play with it and uh, maybe try and do some reverse wheelies or who knows. That's enough talk. I think we should get started on ripping this thing apart because I'm real curious of how this is gonna drive and I'll hopefully get to be the first one to do it. Or just comment below on who you think should drive it first. Remember, we all want at least one shot in this thing, so. Choose wisely. Well, before we cut it in half, might as well give it one last ride. Well, now that I've made it unbearable to work in here, I think I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow. Today on the Swedish Master Caster List, safety first is number one. No more fires, Brad. Safety. We're gonna disconnect the battery. Check. Number two, we're gonna strip everything down. 
And not that kind of strip. Pull out the seats, carpet, windows, doors, anything that could catch fire because I got the new Miller Plasma that I'm gonna cut this thing in half with and we don't want anything to actually catch on fire. Number three, we're gonna cut out all the fuel lines and wiring and all that stuff and get it out cleanly so we don't accidentally cut it in half and cause a fire. Number four, we're gonna do the planning of it. Basically just gonna figure out what we have to do because I don't know, I've never cut a car in half. I have, but I, not with the intent to drive it. So let's get started. Did you disconnect the battery? <laughs> I'm looking for the battery. It's back it's here Safety somewhere. first. That, the first things first. You need, I'm to get to we the said safety yet. first. He hasn't even unhooked the battery though. We haven't even got started. So Brad's gonna find the battery because he doesn't know where it is. What do you want to do first uh, after you do that? I'm gonna take the doors off. Get the doors off so we can have a little access. Get the seats out. Start ripping up the carpet, the headliner. Uh, I want to take the sunroof out because we don't want it to. This will retract into here. We don't want any of this crap. So, gonna pull all that out, and uh, I don't know, maybe we'll have to make something if we have to I store it outside. Or maybe we just don't care. So, we just started ripping everything apart. Time lapse. Look at this, carnage. We are cutting this right about in here. Okay, okay. Yeah, right behind the back seat there. So we're taking literally half the car off. Well, shit. I won't, uh, I won't interrupt you too much. Huh? It's fun. If you want to break something, this is the time. Stop the break. <laughs> you can break whatever you want. No, no, Just no, not the I front got, end. I got work to do. I got work. All right, get, go back to work. This is the only it. time where it's actually okay to break something and hurts like, nah, I don't want to do it. I can't, I'll get caught. I won't leave. All right. I won't leave. I'm going to come grab you later. You're going to break right, something. All right. Now we're trying to figure out the fuel situation. I think that's the sending unit, Brad. No, this is the pump. Really? Well, oh, that's strange. All right, so we have to drop that from underneath. So we'll get to that. We gotta move all that wiring out. I found this uh, tow hook. Which immediately gave me a really bad idea that we could cable tie that to something. But like an actual cable tie. And do reverse donuts. I wanna see what that thing does. I wanna wrap it around something and blow it up. Brian, what you doing? Uh, we're testing the Bobo curtain airbag system to make sure that we're safe. <laughs> you guys are all scared. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're safe. We're safe. <laughs> Don't worry. Dude, it stinks. We Dude, should probably like play a joke on somebody. No, we can't get anyone hurt. Yeah, yeah we can't. I'm so scared yeah. about these things. I don't wanna hurt anybody. Brad came up with an awesome idea. <laughs> Which is to stuff that airbag in this here donut box. You'll see. It's breaking time? It's breaking time. Well, we're just gonna see if something's a good idea or not. You're gonna wanna put these bad boys on. We're what about, I need. We're, we're about to have my own build show. Yeah, this is hard to build. Today on each shit garage. <laughs> <laughs> I need to flip that switch and see how these lights work. <laughs> Brad! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Don't look in there! It's a setup! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go get Vinny. Sick, Joe. Look, you look sick. So, you look sick? Do you look yeah. fast? Yeah. Like, I feel like these look really, look really fast. Uh, do a quick, like, sprint. See if uh, you're I'm fast. I'm not gonna sprint. Cap it. On the ground or the battery? On the battery. On the battery. Pause. 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 Am I gonna die? No, you're yeah. right. It's a fucking bike leg. What? Nothing's Brad? Yeah. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Wow! Yeah! Oh my god! So what's going on? Um, we're gonna get some of this shit out of here and then uh, put it back on the lift and check out the fuel system and all that. What we need for it to work. We're gonna have to make some kind of fuel container to hold everything. We'll figure out where we can put it that's safe. But we should get it on the lift first. There's one difference between me and Scotto. Not really attached to anything. Which makes it really fun for build stuff because I can throw it away. And that makes everything real fun. So we're underneath it. Gotta cut the exhaust off, get some stuff out. We gotta get the fuel tank out, which is right up in here. That's uh, basically our main issue. No drive shaft. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Front wheel drive's awesome. Here's a turbo. Alright. But the way I have everything positioned up here, use this front jack 
Just keep everything safe because we're going to take so much weight out of the rear that it's going to become really nose heavy and we don't want it to fall off the lift. Make sure that doesn't happen, put a jack under the front of it to support the weight. And then we're going to bring it back down after we get the fuel tank out, put it on a more safe ground. Had to bust out the new sinker wave, do a little uh, weld on the brake lines. I don't really recommend doing that, but we didn't have a plug this size. I don't even know what it is. So, welded them shut. Now we're gonna cap the rear off and the brake should be fine. Fuel should be all good. All right, so we, we practiced some safety. I kept right in line, there was no flyers. No flyers. We stripped everything down, got it all worked out. All the crap out of it. Figured out the fuel and the wiring, got the fuel tank out, got the wiring we needed to push forward, and we did some of the brake lines, block those off. And now Brad and I are gonna play in this and get back after tomorrow when we can cut this baby in half. You gonna wrap this like a rabid dog? On three. One, two, three. That's a wrap! You asshole. You That's a wrap! Did it even break? <laughs>